here we go again. Come on. I like to send a special dedication out to all my family and friends. Come on, wow. Let's do it again, bad and show. I say we all must huh. go. So, look, let me tell you about the last uh, session we had. Um, I had to do this show for uh, OTI Club. And it was Black Waters Entertainment who, uh, you know, had me come out with the band. And it's like, man, we was cranking. I'm talking about if y'all wasn't there, then y'all missed the party. I don't know where you was at, Surdy, but it was a day party. And I'm saying we was in that thing doing what we do. Now, if you want to see it, it's on YouTube. Just pull it up. You can go on Facebook. We got it right there. So, it's no way that you can't say, man, you don't know nothing about it. Let's do it again, bang. But guess what? We got a special guest tonight that I want to bring to you all, man. All the fans out there that's watching right now, all the people that's online, man, it's going to be something special for you. It's my first time meeting her, her first time meeting me. But guess what? We're going to put this thing on. We're going to get her to do something live for us. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to hear this. She goes by the name of Jesse. Is it Jesse Jane? Yeah. Okay, Jesse Jane. Because I kept thinking about the gunfighter. 
Jesse James. I was like, oh, she gonna be spitting something. She gonna be spitting something. Yeah, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a brief break. I just wanted to welcome y'all on in here today. I'm gonna take a brief break and we're gonna bring her on and then we're gonna go from there, all right? So we're gonna just run this uh, music until we get it together. How about that? We're gonna do this for y'all, man. Little something we put together. Huh? It's called Ura. Don't play with you. The one and only Jesse Jane. Hey, How you doing today? Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. And also, tell me the, about you and her first. First, introduce yourself, then tell me about how you two came together. Okay. Well, my name is Cece. Um, I met Jesse uh, through work. We're both in the dental field, and you know, I've you know always been a big fan of music. Of course, I love music. She's a music artist, and we pretty much just clicked, and we've been rocking since since then. Okay, yeah. all right, okay, Miss Cece, you called in last week. I was like, man, who is this here? <laughs> oh, okay, all right, all right. So, so she kind of gave me a history like how y'all met. So, what I want to do with you, Miss Jesse, is mm -hmm. kind of let's go back to when you first figured that you kind of like rapping. Oh, shoot. I can go back to when I was a little girl. Hey, go um, back. Yeah, like my, uh, it's guys in my family, like older cousins mm. that um, have a uh, background in band and music and rapping mm. and stuff like that. Okay. So, you know, they always was around doing it. And so me being a little girl, I just followed behind them and I liked it and I started writing and I've been doing it since. So where, where do your, your um, beats and stuff come from, though? Um, so I purchase them, I'm, mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm, for me, I know like with the music as an artist, um, it's easy to not get compensated for it. Mm -hmm. So like, 
Um, for me, I, I like to purchase beats from people because okay. I like to keep the circulation going. I would want somebody to support my music, so I go, I try to purchase before I download a right, free beat. Right, yeah. right, right, right. That's good. That's because mm -hmm. I'm, you know, by me being in music too, I kind of like made my own beats and stuff. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. just like out my mind. Like, mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because I started out playing drums, so yeah, I had so to you be being in the band. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, who is one of your um, favorite artists? Mm, I'm more on like the spiritual deep tip right now, so I'm more vibing with like the J. Cole and rest in peace to Nipsey, okay. Okay. Kendrick Lamar. I'm kind of on that type of tip right now. Okay, know? but tell me about your um, last performance. Where were you? Your last performance? Last performance I had was in Cali. I was out um, close to um, Hollywood. So I was just out there last month, and I did a little showcase out there. It was dope. Met some new artists, mm -hmm. and you know, just was out there networking, and I be all around man, just trying you, to put my sound, music out. Man, yeah. You sound like a woman that's on the move. Yeah, man. You sound like I you're trying to go some places. <laughs> yeah, Don't leave me behind, man. <laughs> no, it's DMV for life. It's home. So, so just <laughs> tell me how you feel about the relationship you had with Miss Cece. Oh, uh, like she said, I met her. We was we met in the dental field working together. Um, I told her, cause you know, I'm like a jack of all trades. I'm doing the music, I'm mm -hmm. dentistry. I'm trying to get mm -hmm. it all the best way I can. Right, right. And, um, you know, I let her hear my music and she came back to work the next day. She was like, man, you dope. I'm about to yeah. start helping you oh, push yeah. this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we've been locked in ever since. I've been doing stuff out of Atlanta, Cali, everywhere. And oh man. She, she man. been right with me. We've yeah. Been locked in. That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up, yeah. man. That's that. So, you know, they always say like. Family, friends, strangers be supporting you too. Like right, I mean, right. heard and locked in. Now we friends. We yeah, thick as thieves. Yeah, so, that's you know. what, and that's how it happens a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Believe that. No matter how long you know them. So, the so, yeah. Um, from you know, I don't want to get into that part yet. We won't get mm -hmm. into that late. So, I heard you you did a uh, you did a whole album already. Oh yeah, I got. I got a few albums out, but I just really started putting my stuff like everywhere. It's all on all platforms, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, I mean, Tidal, whatever. It's, it's everywhere. So know? what's the name of, like, just name a few albums? Um, I have one on there that's called Sound, Sound Mind, but my most recent prized possession that I put on there that I hold really close to me is the album called The Reveal. Mm -hmm. And um, I put it out. October, um, Breast Cancer Awareness uh, okay. Month, and I dedicated it to that. Well, I really wanted to talk about that, but we, like I said, I'm mm -hmm. going to talk about that a little later. Mm -hmm. um, on what you, because I want you to perform for us tonight. Mm -hmm. okay. um, what what is it that you have in store? What you, what you bring? Um, I, I I bought I bought a lot, <laughs> <laughs> but I can definitely you know whatever type of vibe we in because right. you know, I got the trap, I got the laid back, I, I got it all. Right, because when so. we go on um break, I'm gonna uh, have him play some of your stuff. Yeah, you yeah. Know? I probably do something off the reveal. Yeah, because I don't want him to play what you're gonna do when you yeah. do it live. I just play some other stuff that okay. you already wrote, man. We can get into that yeah. like that. So as you hear, uh, Miss Jesse James is most definitely man on top of her game. Man, mm -hmm. she ain't playing out here, man. I'm saying, and that's what it takes to to make it in this industry. Yeah. Believe that. Now, I don't know. I'm a kind of late bloomer because I heard some stuff today. Well, on on the, um, what was that? I was on. I think I was on um, Instagram, and they was uh, talking about uh, Kevin Hart and um, and Michael Epps. Y'all heard about that? Is it new? Is it old? What? Nah, they they was having a little heard. they was having a little beef thing going on. I haven't heard about that. Mm -hmm. So is it new? Do you mean to tell me I'm on top of something here? Yeah, as I was gonna say you might be on because top of something because I ain't heard anything. They were saying something about Michael Epps had to put his hands on Lil' Kevin Hart, man. Yeah, it's on there. I'm trying to tell I you, man. I didn't hear that one. You know, you know, they done went from street gangs to mm -hmm. rappers, and then it's the comedy oh, guys. Lord, they beefing. Mm -hmm. Who ain't funny? Okay, right. <laughs> How can you be beef about a nigga about being funny? Nah, That's nah, crazy. Supposed to make people laugh. They all yeah, but, but when I heard that today, I was kind of puzzled. I was like, is this some new news or something I, I just missed? Because, you know, I'm kind of slow on the internet. See, I hate when I see people doing the same thing, fighting with each other. Like, you should work together. I mean, you're both doing the same exact thing. Why fight? <sighs> For yeah. real. So tell me a little bit about yourself, though, because you say that you went to the uh, dentist thing. What, what made you do that? So I've been in the dentist, dentist field, dentistry field for about 12 years. Absolutely love it. Um, when I first got into the field, just always wanted to help people, like mm -hmm. taking care of people. And um, when I started doing dentistry, I 
seen the big impact that I have on people. So right. I absolutely right. love it. Mm -hmm. Most people that get in a dentist, dentist field, they don't, they don't leave. They but I need to get it. some partials. You can <laughs> help me out. You tied me up. <laughs> I'm actually working on trying to um, start my own dental assistant school. Oh, okay. Because it's a lot of um, dental assistant jobs in the area, but it's not a lot of assistance. So okay. very high demand. So. Okay. So from there, um, you, you like this music thing. What made you kind of... You know, because you can easily, everybody like music at some point, but mm -hmm. what made you want to hook up with her to try to help her kind of do what she's trying to do? Um, because, you know, I, I know a lot of people in the industry, so mm -hmm. just, you know, trying to put people together, because um, mm -hmm. I know a lot of people, but I didn't realize, you know, why I would, you know, need to know them. Right. I'm not in the music field, so it's not really a benefit to me. Right. But, you know, I just, you know, trying to put them together. Mm -hmm. Just name, know. name mm -hmm. a few people that, you know, that you have introduced her to already. Um, well, one person is Tony Reyes. I've been friends with Tony Reyes for a while. Okay, who's Tony Reyes? Uh, I'm not... He's on uh, the PGC 95.5. Oh, okay. Yeah, Mr. 24-7. Tony Reyes, <laughs> shout out to Tony Reyes, man. Yeah, yeah. Boogie Shoes. How about that? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that, that's just this. Yeah, that's one person. okay. All right, all right. But again, like she said, we just traveling, trying to man, get her music out there. Yes. Y'all yeah. doing more than me, man. <laughs> I feel, I'm feeling some kind of way up here, man. Yeah. I got a whole band. You don't stop. And we, the road. And we, <laughs> <laughs> don't stop. Keep it going. But you know, God got a plan for everybody when, right. when it's yeah. their time. Yeah, absolutely. And from absolutely. what we're in right now, man, yeah. it's your time. Yeah. It's your time to be able to get these, these accolades and move across the world, man, because God Absolutely. got something for you, yeah. man. You know what I mean? Yeah. But what we're going to do right now, we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to play some of your material, man, and let the oh, uh, no. fans hear it and listen That's to it. Up. And then when we come back, man, you're going to be on the stage, man, ready to All rock and right. roll for us hey. for a little bit. <laughs> and then we'll bring you back over here to the table. Okay. So, man, we're going to let her go ahead. We're going to play some music that she's already written and got going on, and, yeah. uh, and we'll be right back. Familiar to the struggle, money keep us in a tussle, main problem for a couple. I'm never geeking over cash, never reaching in your stash, only ask you meet me half, that's nothing. That's the shit that get me mad, and he know I got his back, I'm no stronger than a Russian, that's muscle. Be my questions for an answer, no need to fight my man, I'm already fighting okay. cancer. Fight. Visit. You was present, you trying to be my strength And I know that that gets stressful I 
I gotta give you props, let you know I'm not forgetful. To have you by my side, I can say I'm truly grateful. But it takes more, I'm going to up and they hate more. He running late, I can't wait for him. Already soaked in the rainstorm. Need you for the umbrella, rise up from the ancestors. When you did, they can't touch you. When you woke, they can't fuck you. Backyard got a garden in it, bank account got commas in it. Duffel bag got llamas in it, got a house with no drama in it. Trap now and I feel free, due time I will be. Clear minds, they feel me, only gave y'all the real me. About to say they can heal me, not before they build me. Thanks, folks, try and ill me. Thanks, folks, want to kill me. It's a lot we don't know. Ain't a place we can't go. Without change, you can't grow. They say they woke, but they ain't, though. They sleep, yo. All right, all right, all right, all right. We back, we back, man. We back with Miss Jesse Jane, man. I'm saying, did y'all like that piece? If y'all like that piece, I want y'all to give me a call in at 240-7195. No, I'm sorry. 240-719-2560. That's 240-719-2560. Give us a call in for you can uh, maybe want to ask us some questions about, you know, some things you may want to know. But until then, we get ready to go live with Miss Jesse Jane. We're going to pull the song up and we're going to be gone with it. Yes, yes. like you need a pen go write them down just so you don't keep them in i don't think you even notice what you're going through everyone tend to notice all except but you i know you're strong know you focus what you're going through your only hope your only prayer is to make it through to see your daughters graduate and send them off to school teach them how to go their way and never follow rules be mindful what you do even to your food you control your way of thinking you control the mood only put into your body what's gonna do you good tell yourself that you can and believe you could that radiation and that chemo ain't what's up for you but no matter what you do you gotta keep it moving i can see you hurting i've been through the same thing baby don't you worry i got you and this be for all my breast cancer survivors out there or if you still fighting you know i got you i done been there I done done that, still doing it, so I support. Take a nap, let your mind get some rest, relax your nerves, smoke a joint, take a breath. You fighting cancer, that word alone can bring some stress. You got one option, fight it back and get your best. You was blessed, baby girl, you was blessed, this just a test. Preparing for what's coming next Surgery last week You back in the streets They want me sleep But when it's war I never sleep I smell the feet Kiss that shit right on the cheek I already told myself that I got it beat I am an army support to show up like Navy God save me, they mad, I won't let them slave me They wanna fade me, I laugh, I won't let them phase me Six raise me, but hang with those that motivate me Been chilling lately, feeling like they trying to play me But I'm not lazy, my third eye gon' navigate me I can see you hurt On that deep spiritual tip Baby, don't you worry 
all my sisters out there, y'all stay strong. I know it's tough, but you got to stay strong. You got to you gotta stay 10 toes down. You can't let it take over your mind. You got to take over it. You got to be strong out here. It's all on you. Mind is the, a big part of it. Tell yourself you can do it. You can do it. I beat it, so can you. Put our hands together <laughs> for Jesse Jane, most definitely. Just we, you got. I want one more. Can you do one more for me? Yeah. You know which one she want? Which one, CC? That one. Get, which one you want? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I gotta be faster than that. <laughs> I said I could give him one. That's all. There, he could pick yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Which, whichever one over there. Man, I'm grab always one. ready. He got it. <laughs> Do she know? Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm Which one always is it? ready. Whichever one you throw up, soon to be, come on, I'ma know it. What would you say? Of course, I remember the song. Ike, I wrote it. That's right. That's right. But it's called Champion. It's a good choice. I'm a champion. My battle's already won. I'm a champion. I'm a trophy hover. Everything put on my plate, I ate it like a soldier. Even though my cup is full, I must keep my composure. Accept the truth and forget just to bring me closure. I'm just a beautiful soul, cruising through the solar. I'm just enjoying the ride. God be the chauffeur, I know with him on my side. Everything is kosher, only running with those that's gonna keep me focused. Everything ain't been bad, I call some blessings. Never had no guidance from that, I call some lessons. But always had genuine love in my possession. Forgave mama for all the drugs and the addictions. She went through the trenches, changed to better living. Now I got her back to help raise the little kitties. Mary and Joe, I know they still with me. And when it's my time to go, they come and get me. It's called a reveal album, y'all. It's all upbeat and all uplifting vibe and music. It's like some, it's some ride music right here. And some, put the sunroof back. <laughs> in my personal space but you ain't with me emotions bond sensitive and that'll tick me tell me what's real with the shit don't never shit me don't tell me you can cure it in turn it never left me i pray for younger years to come glad you helped me deal with tomorrow when it comes today he kept me told malika my mind on the run i know she felt me ain't worried about the next just playing the cards he dealt me most days i'm truly happy some days my thoughts get cloudy some days i stay alone some days i go around family they hate don't bring around me my squad they might get rowdy, I made it, I want my brownie Gonna clinch it if they allow me, I'm in They wanna out me, gon' in Just cause they doubt me, I'm popping. They wanna clout me on track, wanna reroute me Gotta eat plant-based, we poisoned by FDA They killing us every day, I'm fighting to make a change I guess somebody needed to hear that tonight <laughs> You know, y'all need to go listen to that My man picked that out, so uh, somebody needed to hear it <laughs> But this is definitely one of them vibing, vibing albums for y'all. Oh, man, man, man. That was lovely. That was lovely. Oh, man, I know y'all enjoyed that, man, especially on that Facebook Live. I know y'all enjoyed that. I did. I don't know about you. And I'm thinking about how I'm going to get on the show with me, with my band, because I already know what's going on. <laughs> so, look, this is what we're going to do now. We're going to uh, get Miss Jesse Jane back over here to the round table. And we're going to go over some stuff about these lyrics she was singing, man, because uh, she got something real hot going on with that, man. And she's talking about a whole lot of breast cancer stuff, survivors. And I heard in, the, in, in what she was saying that she'd been there, done that. Yeah, we're going to get into that, man, because... Uh, we all got a family member or a friend or something, man, that may be going through the breast thing, man. Because every year coming around, man, I be on board with it, man, for real. You know what I mean? Because we got to – I actually want to do something, uh, some kind of foundation, some kind of charity, like, you know, throw a show and, and let the money go to, you know, somebody that, you know, we may know who's uh, struggling with that or going through that, man, because uh, that's something, man, that um, if you never experience it, you don't want to. 
believe mm -hmm. that, man. And the ones that's experiencing, we got to be their support, man. So, Amen. With that there, man, we're going to bring Jesse Jane back over here to the round table. <laughs> and uh, y'all listen to a little bit of something else she got until we get her situated. All right? We'll be. Girl, believe me, time fly. They want me live blind. Free my third eye. The pain run deep and big girls cry. Don't want to see me happy. Don't want to see me smile. They want to see me frown, see me down. They want to see me struggle, see me drown. They want to block my gifts. Heard I was strong and they want to test my strength. But I'm the type of chick you coming with the knives. Coming with the clips, coming with the rocks, I'm coming with the bricks, coming with the pussies, I pull up with the dicks, nigga. I'm that type of chick, nigga. Like go hard or go home, I'll be for me. Literally. Negativity, I can't deal with it. Chasing down a meal, I'm in the field with it. Appears in them jeans. If you tell me that you love me, keep it real with me I done felt a lot of pain, charge it to the game I'm woke now, probably never look at life the same No one to blame, they had their own mind frames I'm chasing change, trust me I'ma do my thing Two girls are raised, they make this world a better place I give them praise, every day I see their face we gon' be straight, my girls, we gon' be straight I got a plan, move far away and buy the land I understand, I get it now, I understand Uncle Sam, big farmer, man, it's all a scam They run the town, they hold us down What goes around, comes back around Like, I just wanna set the dice down for a minute And really talk to y'all, like Of course you know, I'm going through my issue with the breast cancer and all that stuff. But this, to me, is not really... It's a bad thing, but I look at it positive, too, because it's really made me look at life like a totally different way. Like, I, I really feel like that, that woke shit people talk about, like, I really seen it happen right in front of my eyes for me, like, with everything. The only difference is I don't really... I don't really trust these pharmacies medical field and never trust the prison system and when you just ripping and running in the world you know, you're not you're not looking at that type of stuff but the main thing i want to touch the topic with y'all is food 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 watch what you put in your body like i'm not even i can't argue with a chick drinking a coke soda like go drink some water put some put some, put some shit in your body that's gonna do you some good Eat a banana, eat an apple, like, we lost out here. We're not even, we're not doing the right thing to our body. We just leave it at that. And our body right now is like, that's, that's how, that's, that's what we in. That's what we, we need that every day. I mean, you wake up, your leg hurt, your back hurt. I mean, just in general, a lot of the things for black people, high blood pressure, diabetes, all them different diseases, cancer and shit that they tell us that we had, we really, a lot of that stuff can be cleared up with the food, man. You just eat, right, natural herbs, all that stuff. You got to do some research, too. A lot, of, a lot of us want people to just tell you stuff and everything somebody tell us, we believe them. Like, open up a book. We got Google now. 2018. All right, all right, we back. We back once again with Mrs. Who? Jesse Jane. That's right, man. I know y'all enjoy, man. Oh, man. Man, that was some smooth music. I'm talking about that was some summertime in the car, going to the beach, chilling. I mean, you can even be in the hood with that, with everybody out on the car, smoking, yeah, drinking. 
you know, just just chilling, man. I'm saying I, I hear, and we heard like three or four. Of them, man, I mean, yeah, I feel I know music, so I know some good stuff when I hear. Because if she wasn't, man, I would most definitely put her on blast. <laughs> Why? Because I'm Tom Moe. <laughs> <All right, man. laughs> Let's do it again, band and show. Now, before we get back started with Miss Jane, uh, is this some shout outs you want to do? Because I don't want to miss them before we run out of time. Uh, yeah, well, shout out my sisters, you know, Karina, Jasmine, Ivory, mm-hmm. the kids. <laughs> okay, okay. Yo, and my brothers, Najee, Namir. Exactly. Fighting, fighting uh, childhood cancer right now. Exactly. Been going through for the past three years. So, mm-hmm. Booby. Yeah. Superman, that's what we call him. Yeah, that's Stay right. Strong. You got some shout outs? Oh, my shout outs is just to everybody that done stayed down. I done been through a lot. So, everybody that done stayed down with me and that's in my corner. Man, I appreciate y'all, including CC tonight. You know what I mean? For Amen. having me here. So. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. So, what part of town you grew up from? Um, Charles County. So Walton. all your life. Yeah. You been down there all your life. Yeah. So I, I, I didn't move. I went to Atlanta. I was out there for a year, but that's where I got diagnosed at. And, right, you know, once right. you get those type of news, you want to run home. So. Right. <laughs> right. So just um, <laughs> kind of give us a little um, something about when you uh, found out that you had cancer. How did it come upon? How did you? Yeah, like I mean, for real. Like I said, I, I grew up here, and then uh, I've been doing the dentistry, and I had been managing dental offices, had kind of excelled to the top in that as far as I was going to go because I didn't want to be a dentist. Mm -hmm. So I had a job opportunity to um, manage some dental offices like a dental corporation down in Atlanta. So I was like, the money was good, so I left, like Mm -hmm. uprooted my family. We went down there. But in the process, I was down there for almost a year, and I noticed um, a dent in my breast, went and got it checked out. and then You said a dent, Mm -hmm. not a lump. No, I mean, I felt the lump after, but the okay. dent was what made me even know, okay. you know realize okay. that mm-hmm. something was going on. So, um, like I said, I went and, and got tested, and it was breast cancer, and that's why I always say. And when I got diagnosed, ladies, I was 27, 28 years old in my late 20s, and I know a lot of females always tell me they go to um, what is it, an yeah. oncologist or whatever to do doctor. your, you know, your regular yeah. doctor, and they tell you that they don't even do tests until yeah. you're 40. Yeah. Don't listen to that, because if I had waited until I was 40, I probably wouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you got to demand stuff like that, and you got to be aware and pay attention to your body, and, you know, you got to stay on top of stuff out here, because... A lot of stuff in our food now. Times has changed. Yeah, I know from yeah, when I was a young girl yeah. and my grandparents and my mother and them, everything is just changing and you just we behind. We gotta that's we right, gotta catch right. up with our health and our food. We gotta do better. So so um when you when you got the news, mm-hmm. right, how did you feel like? You know, your mm. real feelings. Like, how did you feel? Oh, you, you nervous. You you anxious. You scared. Because when you when somebody you say, even says that word or you yeah. even hear it, you instantly think death. Mm-hmm. So for it to be you, you think, man, like, am I ready to die? Right, this going, right. You know, because that's what's usually the outcome. But, I mean, for me, um, I didn't have it once. I had it twice. I had it mm-hmm. one time, and I went to, I did the conventional treatment like this, a few rounds of chemo. And you know surgery and all that stuff, mm-hmm. and then it came back, and that's when mm-hmm. I realized there's something deeper than this. Right. You know, like what else is it to it? And that's when I started digging deep into the spiritual part of it, mm-hmm. um, into my food and what I was doing, mm-hmm. and stress, food, every all of that stuff take a toll on us daily, and we don't realize how important that stuff is in our life. So, like, if you stress and or if you eat in some yeah. type of way, you got to look into those type of things because. It, it, it can easily be anybody, you know what I'm saying? It's going to catch right. up to you in right. the long run. Right. And I feel like for me, my journey right now is to try to, it's not a matter of if, it's when. I mm-hmm. feel like the way we eating this stuff out here. And I'm, mm-hmm. just, I'm just here to try to help people through it because like you said, how I felt when I first got diagnosed, I didn't know what to right. think, you right. know? But um, I done did a lot of research. Like I done really took myself to school on this, right. so I feel right. well equipped. Right. And I'm still fighting, so right. 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 <laughs> every day is right. a fight. Well, y'all heard it, man. Y'all heard it, man. Y'all heard it, man. I mean, like, like I'm a little emotional right now about mm-hmm. it because, like, I, I had some family members that actually had cancer and didn't survive. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that, you know, went on to glory, man. And, like, 
you ladies, man, y'all gotta listen to what she's saying, man. Don't don't wait till you get thirty and forty no and all limit. that. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? You gotta you gotta take care of you, man. And there's nothing out here that should stop you from saying, you know what, I want to be healthy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like like me, you know, like like I eat healthy. You know what I mean? Like I I will say I'm a junk dude for real because I love sweets, cookies, and mm -hmm. candy and all that, but. I eat healthy every day, you know what I mean? And I do that for a reason because, you know, I want to treat my body to to last, right. to last. Now, I ain't last. saying I be working out and all that because those days are over. <laughs> Not that it should be, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But like what she's saying, you know, you got to take care of you. Mm -hmm. And then all the way you take care of you is what's those things again that you said? Food eat right absolutely your food your environment like i said mentally too it might not even be it might not be food that bring it into your life well it it's always gonna be food that from the research yes, that yeah. i've done but a lot of stress and mentally and all that stuff too can bring it into your life so i just feel like for me where i'm at now all i want to be is around peaceful people right that's that can motivate me that's on the same page I mean, eat right. Take. I mean, it's just all about your environment. Right, right. I mean, literally. But I'm telling you, it's it's gonna be a big battle, right. not only for me, but I feel like for the entire world. Because right now, the food industry is trash. How we eating over here is trash. That's right. Compared to China and Japan, oh, they got the highest living rates. People to live into a hundred and stuff over here. We we in like the. 60, age 60 and stuff like that. Why? It's because of our yeah. food quality and what we are putting, bringing into our homes, right. feeding our kids, feeding our families, and it's trickling down. We got to right. stop it. We And especially with the African Americans. Right. 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 And yeah. they try to say African Americans are predisposed to heart disease and diabetes. But if you go to Africa, it's not there. They don't right. have those issues like we no, have. Right. It's all They're in corner stores like with the Doritos eating. and fanas and fruit punches that, and that we got out. access to. And it's, mm -hmm. we don't got no whole foods in the hood. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? No. So we don't. It, and those are the type of little things that need to be uh, that need to be fixed. Right, for real. We're not me, predisposed to any of that. Let me let me let me shift this over to you, uh, CC, because I know you personally, mm -hmm. and I know that you got a family member that's actually dealing with this cancer mm -hmm. thing uh, right now, mm -hmm. and and I know that it's, it's uh, hard on your whole family. You got a strong mm -hmm. mother. I do know that for a fact. Yes, you know yes. what I mean. Tough. But. Um, just share like your your yeah. Your. So my little brother, he's been going through um, cancer for the past three years. He got first diagnosed when he was nine. Started out small lump in his nostril. Eventually grew big and just bigger and bigger. He went through chemo, radiation, uh, surgery. The radi chemo was terrible. Sick all the time. Radiation just destroyed his face. I mean, it's healed now. Um, so mm. went through that for about 10 months. Then he went through remission for a year, mm -hmm. came back, and his lymph node um, had surgery, got that removed, went through chemo, radiation, went through remission for a year, came back again, and the other lymph node. <coughs> so, um, you know, again, like Jesse said, just I've been doing a, re a lot of research myself and I'm just wondering if the conventional medica uh, medicine and treatments are even curing cancer. I don't think it was. Um, because, you know, it's still staying in his body. Um, the type of cancer he has is very rare, um, very rare cancer um, in, in children and boys. But, um, so, um, so how old is your uh, brother when he first got diagnosed? Um, he was nine. And how old is he now? He's 11. Okay, so we're talking like right three, three years. Right before you turn nine. He'll be 12 yeah. in July. And that stuff is tough. And honestly, I mean, I don't want to deteriorate nobody away from the hospitals and stuff like that, but the way I feel about conventional medicine, I declined it. So, like, I told the hospital I don't want any more chemo. I'm not doing any radiation. I'm taking care of myself. And however, you know, whenever the good Lord is ready mm -hmm. for me, then that's when it's my time. But as far as what they putting into my body, and I, I just, it don't sit well with me. Right. You know, it, to me, it's not even humanitarian to put that type of poison in somebody's body that's going to make a bald head, make the nails black. I mean, I, I was literally on the couch sick for days. Like, right. I don't wish it on anybody. And I don't even think people should be taking it because I know if you, now what I know, if you go in that Whole Foods and get some herbs, mm -hmm and change your diet and do what right by your body you can reverse it. you can reverse that anything reverse. out here is it, you can reverse anything is curable don't let them tell you no different they tell Trust you me. you can prevent it with these foods but what they don't tell you is that you can actually reverse a lot of those diseases with those same foods blood pressure diabetes all them hood diseases that's in these black communities 
All you got to do is take them pork chops out the pan. All you got to do is put some spring water in the refrigerator. Exactly. Remove that jug of juice you just got from the food mart. Mm-hmm. You know, you mm-hmm. got to make those little changes for you and not only you, but you got, I'm sure you got kids and little ones coming up. We got to reverse this cycle, man. We killing That's right. ourselves. That's right. Hey. I'm saying, man, it's like they done just took over this thing right here, man. <laughs> I feel like I should be over there and just let them take care of the rest of the show. But that, but you're giving up, you're giving up true and real knowledge, mm-hmm. and that's what my show is about. Yeah, it's sure. about me trying to share knowledge for all different things. Because when that's we why I'm here. when we started off, we started off about you being in the music, being mm-hmm. an artist, mm-hmm. man. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we gave them that part of you. Now we give them another side of you, man, yeah. which yeah. you are very educated of what's going on. And now you are actually educating the people, the young ladies, females that's out there. And Miss Cece, you are educating that the age, the age is not when you get a certain age that you can get cancer. No, no. You know it's what I mean? It's not a certain man. age. Absolutely and not. And then sometimes, you know, people think that though. Mm-hmm. You know, because you know, when you're young, you think you can't. There ain't nothing gonna happen. You, I'm woo woo woo. You know what I mean? I mean, thank God today I can mm-hmm. say I'm healthy. I'm healthy. I have no high blood pressure, sugar diabetes, all this mm-hmm. kind of stuff that's going on. And I know why though. Mm-hmm. But that's why I continue to eat right now. Right. To make sure that man, you know, yeah, you when, have to. You know, because we don't have the, that. we don't have the call of when we gonna go. Mm-hmm. Right. But we do got a call to try to last as long right. as we can. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I see things. We, we got to remember that this pharmaceutical company and these hospitals and stuff, they a business just like everybody else. You got car dealerships. You got Safeway, Walmart. Mm-hmm. Hospital is a mm-hmm. business, and they run they run off of you being sick. Mm-hmm. You got to keep that in mind mm-hmm. when we run to them for every little thing, and they want to do these yeah. major procedures yeah. and all these top top dollar things on us. Do you really need it, or can you go yes. home and put some tea and herbs on the stove and fix yourself? Like, we got to start with taking responsibility for our life, too, and doing the research and, and educating ourselves and, and doing better, like mm-hmm. I said, with, with our households. Mm-hmm. But one thing I did want to say for uh, you go back to talking, not to be talking too much. No, go ahead. But Cece was about your brother. Like, I, research I read on that as far mm-hmm. as kids that's battling cancer, like, a lot of them I read when they're born. They develop cancer and stuff, not because anything wrong with them genetically. It's because of the environment, mm-hmm. the envir- our environment and the um, just like the solar and all this stuff that the ecosystem and all this Microwaves. is getting worse. Mm-hmm. So like when these kids are being born into it, their body really can't handle the environment and the pollution and the toxins that we putting out every day. People not realizing it, but if you look over there in China, Indonesia, these people riding the bikes with masks and stuff on them. That's how bad, bad the air quality is. And it's coming over here next. So mm-hmm. like you got to be aware of your surroundings you, now, and what's you, going you on. You say it's coming over here when? Oh, yeah. I don't know when, but no, I know you no, get no. there. You said, it's coming over here next. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't know when, but I'm telling That's you. That's that Charles <laughs> County coming out. But look, we're going to take a quick break, man. And then we'll be right back with Jesse James and Miss CC, man. We're just going to listen to a little more piece that she got. Yeah. And uh, we're going to come back and continue this conversation, man. We'll be right back. Please call in. Mm. Please call in. I'm sorry. Twerking out, 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 twerking out
Going out to twerk it out. God already worked it out. It don't never hurt to smile. Keep my name up in they mouth. Run they mouth just like a child. Used to punch them in they mouth. Now, now that's not my type of style. Now that's not my type of crowd. Wanna see me with a record? Wanna see me act the extra? Still gon' get my bitch to smack her. I don't, I don't like to deal with hassle. Walk in with hella clappers. One song, they ready to twerk. One bump, they ready to work. Good chicks, they will flip. Pockets right, they will dip. 500 for a round trip. Came back in a new whip. Switch, switching like I need a new hip. Still me, just new drip. Rain boots for the rainstorm. Cold world, put the meat on. Twerk it out. 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 All right, all right. We back once again. Let's do it again. Band and show. Your host, the one and only Tom Moe. With the special guest, Jesse Jan and Miss CC. Man, if y'all have not been with us, I'm trying to tell you, you have really missed some good information, some good singing, some good rapping. Y'all, y'all, you missed out. But guess what? I'm right back here next Wednesday, same time, 9.30 to 10.30. You can call in on this last few minutes we got left. Call in 240-719-2560 to ask any question, any information about anything that you done heard already. So, Miss uh, Jane, um... Tell people out about your next event that's coming up. So next, I'm trying to um, head out of Atlanta. Like I said, I went out there for the Super Bowl, but now I'm putting together some things, not necessarily for an event, but I'm ready to shoot some videos, some more videos. I feel like I done put out a lot of material. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of albums, like I said, out on Spotify and um, YouTube and Apple Music, iTunes and all that stuff. So now I'm just ready to put some visuals to it and... Um, yeah, put out shoot some videos and. So what? What about the uh, um um? You got a uh, email address or something that they can try to contact. So yeah, you? like um, if you wanna any music that you heard on here, you can listen to. I got a website. It's Jesse Jane Jesse with a Y J E S S Y J A N E seventy seven eighty dot com. That's my website. It lets you know all my upcoming shows, where I'm perform at, any vi new videos I put out is on there, any links, any uh, music on there that you want to download. You can pre trial and listen to. So I have that, and also um, kind of like similar to this, but I just put out like a YouTube channel. So if you going through anything health wise, you want to reach out to me. I'm basically just it's called Who's Thinking for You. And it's basically just to pick minds, pick brains, talking about topics like we were just talking about cancers, the environment, our government, all the things that I feel like um, sp specifically my black people and, and my race is behind in. I feel like um, I put that channel out so we could talk about it and discuss it. And there's another good friend of mine, me and Malika. But it's who's with an S on it, underscore, thanking for you on YouTube. Check it out. We got some good topics on there, okay, too. Okay, most definitely. Y'all heard that. What she said. So, <laughs> now, Miss um, Cece, I know you got a sister, uh, Jasmine and Karina, and mm. they they do some stuff. They want them to do hair, right, or something? Yeah, so my sister Karina, she's a bartender. She actually does nails. She's also a nail tech. Um, I got to get her information. Mm -hmm. um, and then my sister Jasmine, she sells cars. So anybody that's looking for a car, she's mm -hmm. over at Pohanka. Mm -hmm. Definitely mm -hmm. plug on that. Okay. So just ask mm -hmm. ja Jasmine. What about your other sisters that do hair or something? Um, oh, Ivory. So Ivory does hair. Whatever you want. Cornrows, braids, you need a sewing, <laughs> whatever you need a wig install, whatever. She got you. Jack all okay. crazy. Okay, man. Yeah. See, and see, that's what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. These these things, man, like, if we don't put this out to the mm -hmm. public, people don't know. Yeah. They'll keep running to these other places, yeah. giving them their money where they exactly. could be helping some of us, man, and come up. That dollar you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, man. And, yeah. And, and doing a great job, man. Because like, I got I got business it. too. You know, I got a catering business that I do, mm -hmm. you know, called TSB Catering and Events. And I also have my live music, my live band. Let's do it again, band and yeah. show. So, you know, you can also uh, reach out to me. At um, let's do it again, band at gmail.com. All right, that's my email address. I don't have a website. This is my website right mm -hmm. here, live. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's most definitely was a pleasure having you here. Thank Ms. you, Miss Jesse check Jane. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, real Jesse Jane. Check and nice out. having you here as uh, uh, CC. You follow me on Instagram too, <laughs> triple C underscore Caprice. Hey. And what we're gonna do on this segment, we're gonna just have you play the music, some more stuff that you may have. Uh, until it's ready to actually close out, then you put back on that. Let's do it again. Hey. 
<laughs> you just play something soft for us, and we just gonna kind of do a little table discussion because we, we next show. my next show is Wednesday. Oh, you talking about my band? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, you know what? This Friday we're doing a gospel uh, segment um, at at a church uh, called New Life. Oh, I know where New Life is. Center. Is that in Waterloo? Yeah. No, oh. you wrong. Like, you, uh, you, out, you out of there. <laughs> <laughs> you like uh, yeah. not down in no, the negative woods? No, it's right there on Allentown Road. Oh, uh, they got one in Waterloo um, too. They do. Mm -hmm. And um, so we're gonna be playing some gospel music for uh, the Seven Saints. Y'all go to church? Oh, Lord. We have to pray right now. Lord God, right now. But, um, yeah, but that's what we... That's, that's a whole what, nother topic. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But that's what... Uh, we'll let's do it again, man. We'll going to be doing uh, this Friday night. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do that. But far as um, us doing something else on another level, I'm kind of like on a pause. Yeah, I'm kind of like on a pause because I don't want to be the band that... We playing all the time, and because I feel like in music when you do that all the time, people get tired of you, especially when you into that like that go go type thing, you know. Because everybody playing go go, you know. I want I want people that when we say we playing somewhere, oh man, we need to go catch them because we don't know when you might hit them again. You know what I'm saying? And and that's 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 just like my own format of what I'm trying to work out. Not meaning that it's right, don't mean that it's wrong, but that's how I like to be. We may play like twice a month. I know you no. sometimes we may not play too too much. Mm -hmm. But when we come back out, yeah, we ready. We we, we trying to bring some noise. You know what I mean? So what yeah. about you? You think you're gonna be able to do a show with us one time? I can oh, sure. you know, I don't turn down nothing but my collar. Yeah. <laughs> Cook God. Right. So that means you're gonna get booked real fast. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'll um be moving around. So yeah. I'll be all for it. Yeah, but I already know how to contact you, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm what you call plugged in. So I can most definitely get, get in contact with you and let you know when I put something together. Because a lot of shows I put together myself. And I just uh, hooked up with uh, Black Water Entertainment. So they said they got a lot of stuff they're going to be trying to get us to do. So with that, I'm actually going to bring you in. And then, you know, I got two sons that rap, too. They got some little mixtapes and stuff on, on YouTube. I, I don't know what their little names is on there. You know, I know their real names, but I'm going to definitely might try to put a show together and uh, have y'all hook up on that, too, though. For real. Because I'm I'm about just building. Yeah, yeah. That's you know what, what I mean? It's about networking, showing support, and, and coming together. So yeah. I, I, I've been doing the music, but unfortunately, I went through what I went through, and I utilized that to kind of... Be a voice for that too. Right. You know what I mean? Well, we ready to go out of here, man. Till next Wednesday, 9:30 to 10. Right, so we're gonna do the good. Let's do it again, band. Uh, the end this thing. Oh, these shirts. I got these shirts for these ladies. These personal. These are not nothing that I'm selling. These are. I picked them out just for them for being guests on my show. Appreciate so that means when you be a guest, you, you may get a gift and you may not. I don't know. <laughs> Depends on how I feel. <laughs> and I just feel like giving. Now you felt generous. You know. So until next time, God bless you. We love you. And we'll see you soon. I like to say a special dedication out to all my family and friends. Come on, wow. Let's do it again, bad and show. I say we all must huh. go.
got a guest a birthday up in here tonight. We gonna do it tonight. You feel me? Yeah. Uh. 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 Uh